Well, on the first day of, of his vacation in Martha's Vineyard, Pr President Obama spent five hours golfing with Robert Wolf, the president of UBS Investment Bank and the chairman of, and CEO of UBS Group Americas. Today is a great day for whistleblowers. Well, it's the largest whistleblower award in history. As an American working at UBS in Switzerland, Bradley Birkenfeld held the keys to dozens of undeclared bank accounts and enough information to crack open the confidential relationship between Swiss bankers and U.S. tax evaders. Birkenfeld turned in the largest financial frauds. He turned in 19,000 felons and $20 billion dollars in one unit. Bradley Birkenfeld a une nouvelle fois été entendu en début de semaine comme témoin dans l'enquête ouverte en France sur les pratiques illicites de la Banque Suisse. It's having the courage to come forward and do something so historic. No one ever came forward and talked about Swiss banks ever. Bradley Birkenfeld is one of the most important whistleblowers in American history. It's had a huge impact. It's been a huge blow to bank secrecy that's used to facilitate tax evasion. The bank lied to us. They lied to me, to my colleagues, to the clients, to the shareholders. They slipped a three-page document in our intranet without telling us. Boston native Bradley Birkenfeld says he became intrigued by international banking while working in finance in Massachusetts, but he never expected to become embroiled in the biggest tax evasion scandal in history. Brad Birkenfeld did end up throwing UBS under the bus. It cost UBS an enormous amount of money, and it also changed the future of bank secrecy in Switzerland and, you could argue, around the world. Is it the end of the Swiss banking system as it used to be? I think we're, we're moving into an era where countries will be able to get more information to enforce their taxes. This whole thing was going to explode.